If you've ever had difficulty finding Pinnacle Falls, you're not alone. It's one of the UP's most secluded waterfalls. As part of our Northern Exposure series, ABC 10's Daniel Davis went into the wild UP to unravel the secret to finding the hidden gem. This is one of the more remote waterfalls. Um, it's not that far off the map, but people can't find it. Um, there aren't signs, you know, pointing you to it. And so this is a rare opportunity for people to have a guided trip where somebody is going to help them go down. Yes, the secret is a very rare guided tour. From Marquette, it's a good 30-minute drive down County Road 550 before you even get to the access road, which is mostly unpaved. 20 minutes later, you finally reach the trailhead. Only then can you hike another 20 to 30 minutes down to the falls. Most youpers and even experienced hikers have never laid eyes on this rare beauty. I was born and raised in Marquette. I've never been to Pinnacle Falls. I hear they're pretty hard to find, so I'm excited to go with some Powell Township locals and seek them out. Gosh, well, I've never been to Pinnacle Falls, so I've hiked a lot out in the Yellow Dog Plains, but I've never been specifically to this waterfall, so I'm just really excited to see it. Save the Wild UP organized a special hiking trip to the Old Glacial Outwash, which features archaic exposed rock that dates back billions of years. Along the way, you're encouraged to rub the Yellow Dog Watershed Preservation Rock to show your appreciation for the hollowed ground. Once you've paid your respects, it's downhill from there. Hiking through overgrown trees and plants, many stop to admire a tree nicknamed the octopus. Then you venture on <laughs> around bends, over down trees. Okay, I'll attempt it. There you go. I think you got it. And then you get a glimpse of the Yellow Dog River. As you continue to maneuver the wilderness, you finally hear the rush of anticipated beauty. Once you arrive, it looks like the tradition is to take off your shoes and experience the falls barefoot. So while others needed to feel the falls and capture the moment for all time, others simply savored the moment by copping a squat and enjoying a much-deserved bite to eat. The adventurers of the crew thought the view from afar just wasn't enough. But of course, you couldn't leave without a bit of history on how the falls were formed. When the glaciers pushed across North America, they stopped uh, in Upper Michigan, and the nose of the glacier, as it was melting, formed the sand that covers the Yellow Dog Plains, including Eagle Mines uh, location. As the water from the glacier drained, uh, it had to get away uh, from the front of the glacier. So it ponded up for a while, and then it found outlets, and it poured off the Yellow Dog Plains in all directions. Those young and old said the trek was well worth every step, rock, root, and broken tree limb they had to climb over to reach the falls. For ABC 10 and CW5 News Now, I'm Danielle Davis.